In this video, I answer the questions about ray tracing coming to Halo Infinite, some returning armor sets, a new gameplay demo, hopefully, as well as advanced mechanics for Halo Infinite. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, and today we're doing another Q&A video answering the questions from the community on this channel about Halo Infinite. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this, and it really helps with the video and channel. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure to tap subscribe right there. It keeps you up to date with everything going on as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. So as I do as a continuing series on this channel, I go to my community page and I ask you guys, what do you want to know about Halo Infinite? Do you have any questions or any topics you want to discuss? Let me know. You get to have your question put in a video. And don't worry if your question doesn't get answered in this video. I do go back and kind of pick out some more questions throughout that post as well. So keep it up to date whenever a new video goes live. And if you want to take part in the next one, just subscribe to the channel and you'll get a chance to see the community page updates when they go live. First question here is from Dark Spartan. Is ray tracing going to be there at launch after the delay? If you guys don't remember, back in July, 343 did confirm that ray tracing will not be a feature at launch for Halo Infinite, which seemed to be kind of a big kind of concern for me, at least knowing that like, Ray tracing is such a huge feature on the Xbox Series X and to have Halo Infinite not have it at launch is a major concern because it's like the console seller game and it's also supposed to be kind of showcasing everything that the console can do. I mean, the, the Halo Infinite and Xbox Series X were kind of tied together really. But Chris Lee did confirm that it would be coming at a later update. This is back in July. Now, it's in that we have this year long delay for Halo Infinite. Uh, I think I do remember seeing a post saying that also that it would probably come early 2021, probably like February or March or something like that. So I would assume that by the time with this extra year of dev time that we would have Ray Tracing in there, which also does make you think that the demo that we saw for July didn't have Ray Tracing enabled. But I'm pretty sure this next trailer that we will see in June, most likely for like the E3 time, maybe July, sometime in the summer, that it will have ray tracing enabled. It will greatly improve the visuals of the game. The shadowing will be so much better. The lighting will greatly improve with ray tracing enabled. So we definitely have that to look forward to, which we actually touch on later on in this video. Lucas Hill asks, what weapons, vehicles, and armors do you hope to return? Personally, I'd love to see Copperhead return. Now, I, I will admit I did have to look this up. Copperhead is actually the armor set that Vale uses in the Halo 5 campaign. So it's actually kind of a cool armor set. I like that one as well. Uh, if there was one armor set that I would like to see come back, it might be the Ragin from Halo 5. I actually really like that armor set. More the helmet, if anything else, but the armor set as a whole does look pretty cool. We do know that we will be seeing some Halo 5 armor sets making their way into Halo Infinite as well, as we saw in the teaser of some of the coatings that we saw for the Scorpion Punch coating skin. It used the Anubis hel helmet set, which is straight from Halo 5, and I think also Halo 4 possibly, which I think is a great looking helmet as well. I'm looking forward to seeing that coming back. Now, when it comes to weapons and vehicles, uh, I Vehicle, I just want the score. I want the Falcon back. That's what I want for the main vehicle to come back. And with the strong ties to Halo Reach for Halo Infinite, I could definitely suspect to see that vehicle coming back. And for weapons, I actually made a top five video of like weapons I want to see come back in Halo Infinite a while ago. So go check out the channel if you guys want to see that video. But for a quick recap of that video, one would be Brute Shot, Sticky Detonator, Saw, and the Flamethrower, because I think we're going to see the Flood in Halo Infinite, and the Flamethrower would be great against the Flood as well. I actually would like to see the Focus Rifle come back which we do have a toy reveal that showcased the focus rifle in the game i would like to see the focus rifle be more repurposed as instead of a sniper rifle like it is in halo reach as more of a covenant counterpart to the spartan laser or the unsc i think it fit really well in there hi hamza asks yo kevin would you like to see 343 releasing another demo to show off the improvements they made since last time maybe even the same mission so people can compare them and show that their hard work is paying off. Uh, personally, I actually wouldn't like to see the same thing replicated in a new gameplay demo. Personally, I like to see something new, but of course, something different, but the same thing essentially. Just kind of jump in, showcase in the world, the new weapons and uh, some kind of maybe like the format of how you play through the missions and things like that. Just showcasing the open world, which it was accomplished with the last gameplay demo. 
I would like to see something new and different, some new environments. Maybe it's showcasing some of the older ones as well. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Just not the exact same thing, because uh, that would just be a little bit of a disappointment. Kind of like, yeah, we already saw this. Show me something new. And 343 is putting in a lot of effort to make sure this game does look great. They're kind of reworking the brutes a little bit. They mentioned about how they're going to be adding some hair and more different kind of facial animations. So. Rest in peace, Craig. We won't be seeing you coming back in the next gameplay demo, but uh, we'll most likely, I would assume we'd see ray tracing in the game as well. So the lighting's gonna be looking a lot better. Uh, we're gonna be seeing some changes in the visuals of probably of some of the uh, brutes, like I mentioned earlier, uh, some of the better texturing, less popping textures, better functionality and better lighting as a whole. So overall, it's gonna just be looking better, but what I would like to see as the content in that demo, uh, just kind of the same thing we saw, but just uh, different. JL Pixel says, What's a feature you would like to see come to Halo Infinite that has not been shown off yet? Most likely a campaign specific feature. One thing I definitely would like to see is better social integration with Halo Infinite. With Halo 5, we kind of had it with like file share and stuff like that, but I want something a little bit more upfront and noticeable that maybe it's something kind of like a highlight of the community like look at today's new awesome screenshot by the community check out here to find more stuff about it getting more advertisement about sh the social aspect of halo and showcase that there is this deep wide you know vast community that we have for halo and there's so many ways that people enjoy and playing it i think it'd be the best way to help grow halo infinite is showing how many people like playing halo because most people just jump in and play the game and that's about it they don't really get a sense of community for the most part at least i mean i was that guy from pretty much like ce up until like halo reach i really just played the games i didn't read any updates i didn't go into any communities or anything like that I just played and so you don't really get a sense of community when you're just playing the game showcasing more community features within halo infinite i think would be great we do have that integration of the share button on the xbox series x console which i think is going to be a really great feature for, to help showcase more of this maybe that could be like some way you can like link to your twitter so you can instantly share like a new screenshot or clip right to twitter or facebook or even twitch or whatever just so then people can show off that they're playing halo infinite so essentially just more features to showcase the community that's what i want showcase the people playing the game not necessarily the game itself jp max 4 asks when 343 industries says halo infinite will have advanced vehicle gameplay do you think that means when you die you can spawn in a teammate's vehicle now if i remember correctly i think you're referring to the recent video i made talking about the tweet from clobro talking about there's going to be like a big team battle 2.0 that it's going to have advanced vehicle options and features and stuff like that uh 343 has never stated that uh, i've looked up i mean i've read every update i've even searched into the last halo infinite update the word advanced isn't in the blog update whatsoever. And I hope with that video, I made it clear that it was like a tweet, not necessarily 343, but I'll, I'll try to do better in the future. What do you think about like advanced vehicle gameplay? Uh, what we did see in the gameplay trailer that the tire, the front left tire does blow off of the Warhog when the grunt does a suicide bomb on the Warhog. So that's definitely something different right there. I'm assuming we'll probably see the, you know, left bumper or whatever button it is to transfer over to like another seat within a vehicle. That's probably gonna be returning. Um, I would probably expect to see some also like some soft spots on vehicles for infantry to do more damage. If 343 is going with like this BTB 2.0 route, and it would assume that, and he said it's mentioned about like squad spawning. So you'd think that you'd be able to spawn in a teammate's vehicle as well, which I think that would be totally possible the squad spawning that means the maps are going to be huge and traversing the map would be uh, too much of an ask for people to go from one end to the other so squad spawning would be needed and so if you're going to have that you would probably have to need vehicles as well of course this is all just speculation this has not been confirmed by 343 but clobril is a rather reputable leaker and insider so uh i can't believe what clobril has to say about that bobo says after what happened with cyberpunk do you think halo infinite will live up to the hype uh personally i think it's halo infinite's a game where i think people need to set expectations a little bit lower than you probably would expect the, from a halo game as in i know a lot of people are, are really looking forward to having halo be like right up there with like the top name shooters you know 1 million players on launch day kind of stuff like halo 3 was i'm not expecting that i'm expecting just like a good boom of popularity with halo infinite i'm expecting a healthy population where you can kind of search whatever playlist you want and you'll be able to find games which is currently the issue right now with halo 5 and mcc and honestly i don't think we need to be like top five played games on Twitch or whatever. And even with launch population of Halo Infinite, I'm not expecting some big, huge, large number. I'm expecting Halo 2 grow. And I think it's going to actually grow in kind of like a steady linear kind of growth, where it's just going to be kind of like over time, people are going to start realizing like, hey, 
Halo Infinite is pretty freaking awesome. I should definitely play it. Kind of like what we saw with like Star Wars Battlefront 2, with Rainbow Six Siege, even with the MCC. And I think the issue with Cyberpunk is not necessarily the content that's in the game. I think the content for Cyberpunk is there. The main issue is that they weren't exactly fully truthful when it came to the performance on the last gen consoles and the bugginess of the game. Like I think Cyberpunk lived up to the hype of the game. Like it delivered everything it said it was going to do. It just, the delivery was a bit messy. It's like when you order a pizza and then you receive the pizza and you open it up and it's like, I mean, yeah, they kind of cut it really weird and like some of the toppings are evenly dispersed, but like it's still a pizza and I'm going to eat it all. And that's kind of how I am with Sourpunk. If you guys like these Q&A videos, make sure to tap that like button. If you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here to keep up to date with all the news and information happening with Halo. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.